Valentine's Day. The official end of Christmas. No, we really should start taking the Christmas tree down sooner. Look around. We should do a lot of things. This whole school business is grueling. I just turned in a book report on Artemis Fowl. Now she's making us write a paper on love. I'm 10. I don't know anything about love. Well, that's what the internet's for. Just get on it, type in love, and see what comes up. You know what? Never mind. Hey, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Maybe I could write my paper about that. <laughs> That'd be one sad story. Because we're not doing anything, right? I didn't plan anything. I, I guess I could plan something. I will, if you want me to. I don't know. I guess if you want to. You want to go to dinner or something? No, nah, a lot of people, long wait. Movie? We'll fall asleep. We could do that at home for free. How about we just stay home? We know we love each other. We don't need to shower and put on control top pantyhose to prove it. And since it's Valentine's, I can bring home a bucket of chicken. Unless you want candy or flowers or something. Ugh, waste of money. Just the chicken's good. We'll eat in our sweats and fall asleep in front of the TV. Sounds like a date. Wait, you're gonna want to watch sports. Separate rooms? <sighs> Done it. Bucket of chicken, sweats, TV, separate rooms. Yeah, Ooh, we still got it. Guess I'm hitting the internet. Is your parental control password still one, two, three, four? Well, I just got the lamest assignment ever. Get in line. Mrs. Johnson is forcing us to write a speech or do a video on a life-changing event. Something I haven't had. I mean, people who meet me have the life-changing event because of my awesomeness, but I can't very well meet myself now, can I? What am I gonna do? Wait till the last minute and turn in something that squeaks you by with a C minus? Yeah, that was totally my plan, but then I found out this is like 30% of my grade. I mean, that's more than half, and I got nothing. Nothing. Axel, you're only 17. Nobody expects an earth-shattering story. Just think of something that was meaningful to you and write about that. You know what's life-changing? Helping your dad snap this tree into 400 pieces so it'll fit in the trash barrel. Would you like to buy a Valentine's carnation? The white ones are for your friends. Because Valentine's isn't just about boyfriends. If you don't have a boyfriend, it's perfectly OK. I am so glad we have boyfriends. Me too. So where's Matt taking you for Valentine's Day? Well, he hasn't officially said anything yet, but I'm sure he will. We already declared our love for each other, so <laughs> yeah. It's probably on. So on. Wow, did you ever think we'd be in high school with boyfriends? I mean, me, a big time wrestlerette with a hotshot wrestler boyfriend, and you in Freshman Girls Chorus with your hot dog on a stick boyfriend. We are ruling this school. Yeah. Oh, Carnation. Frankie, hey hi. there. Hey. Well, isn't this a hoot running into you? What are the odds? We should buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's a lot of candy. Ugh, bricks class. Apparently, it's not enough to just give out cards anymore. Now you gotta tape on little candy hearts and lollipops. I could smack the mom that started that tradition. Uh-oh. It might have been me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you and Mike doing anything special for Valentine's Day? No, we talked about it, but let's face it, it's not like going out with our husbands is that much fun anyway. It's just staring at them in a different location. <laughs> you know, Valentine's would be a lot more fun if you could go out with your friends. Well, who says we can't? I just got a coupon in the mail for the fountain room. That place with the room with the fountain? Mm-hmm. They're having this amazing Valentine special. You get an appetizer choice of meat, soup, salad, endless bread bowl, pie, and coffee for $9.99. You know what? Let's do it. Let's all go to the fountain room together. Without the guys? No, we should probably bring them. But this way, we'll have each other to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. We're going to buy it. You must be new. Dude, it's like a totally lame assignment. I mean, we're only juniors. What big life-changing event could we have even had? No, it sucks. Probably just gonna write about the time I got trapped under the ice in Potoka Lake. That counts, right? What? Yeah, I can't decide between the time I helped deliver my baby sister at the carpet store or the time I was pronounced dead for two minutes when I was six. What do you guys like better? <laughs>